Good morning, church. We're here this morning with um, Christine Kleinhaus, RUC's latest, newest missionary. Um, it's been a long time for Christine preparing to go to Japan with the OMF. I think it's been three years now. And um, Christine, it's been a time of having to do extra studies and all sorts of detours and delays. And now, just when you're sort of heading into the home stretch with partnership development, along comes Corona. It makes that a whole lot more difficult for you. Um, but the thing that's really um, encouraged me, Christine, is that you've continued to keep your eye on the ball. You've continued to pursue this calling that God's placed on your life. So do you want to share some things of where you are and what you've been doing to pursue that calling? Absolutely. Um, thanks, Jenny. It's such a pleasure to be here. Uh, I think in light of the pandemic, the whole world has just been flipped upside down. Everyone has been forced to change everywhere. Like when we look back, we can't even imagine that this is what's July would have been like at the beginning of the year. So um, tomorrow being so uncertain, everyone has been forced to adapt. And in those changes, we often forget the need for the gospel and need for Christ is more needed than ever. In fact, you know, as this um, pandemic is upon us in this global pandemic, like people even miss the new things that's happening in the world. Um, in Japan, like I'm sure most of the world, a new pandemic is plaguing the land and they're calling it Corona divorce. Um, it, people, husbands and wives just don't want to put up with one another, especially now during most countries being under lockdown. Uh, if you think about it, uh, many workaholic businessmen in Japan are forced to be at home 24-7 now what, with their wives. So now their wives need to not only juggle their work, but teaching kids as well, as I'm sure it's tough for everyone, but also keeping the family happy. And those elements together, you know, being at home 24-7 where you never used to be at home barely at all, this is just a recipe for disaster for most of the Japanese. So they're just deciding it's not worth the fight and they're calling it quits. Um, this is already on top of the low marriage numbers that they have in Japan. Even setting the corona divorce aside, uh, Japan is struggling with uh, floods and landslides. Last I heard, 72 people died and more than a dozen still remain missing. They had to evacuate hundreds on, upon thousands of people because of this um, flooding and landslides. And this is on top of the depression that's still very real in the country and the need for discipleship and the gospel. Like the, that, those needs have never gone away. And people just sort of forget about it because of what the world is facing at the moment. Um, and uh, that's the thing like what, that we need to remember. We need to do whatever it takes to still reach the nations, to bring the gospel to all people and all nations. And that's where I want to call out to everybody listening here today. Like help where you can. Do whatever it takes. Remember that these needs are still out there. Remember Japan. I long to go more than ever. I would pack my bags today and get on a plane today if I could. But the reality is that I just can't. So we need to continue praying. We need to continue reaching out to people and, and doing whatever it is in our power to do. And, and that's for everybody. Uh, this mission to Japan isn't my mission. It's God's mission. I am just an instrument in His hands. And I want to call out to everybody else to join in God's mission of reaching Japan. Do whatever it takes, even now in this season. I, if I can stress one thing, it is the absolute critical importance of remembering that we need to stay faithful amidst the disruption, you know, in the, in the light of missions. We need to stay faithful to missions in the light of, even in this disruption. Thank you, Christine. That's a great reminder for us to keep our eyes open to what God is doing in this season because He is doing a lot. <laughs> And uh, Church, if you would like to uh, partner with Christine, as you know, missionaries raise their own support. 
Uh, Christine is on 65% of her support and she really needs to have opportunities to meet with people. You can do that by inviting her to your community group. She'll come and share. She's got some fantastic information around Japan and the gospel. Um, you could have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom coffee chat with her and really kind of dig deep into what's going on. And I would ask you to consider prayerfully um, supporting her financially so that we can all see her and say goodbye to her, Lord willing, January 2021. God willing. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Thanks, Jenny.